Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Neo. I'm your pal Slow Beef. With me, of course, my good friend Doc. Yep, I'm always here. And uh, my good friend Word on the Wind. Hi. How you doing? All right, we just completed um, the mission in. Uh, well, we just defeated Yukiona, Master Tenkai. We met, and he says we should go to Mount Hie. And also, we got a Twilight mission of some kind. Wait, uh, where's there? Karama? I think I heard, didn't I already beat this mission, the Blessed Village? No, I think you beat a different... The other one you beat was mission level 20. I think this one right here, Blessed Village? Yeah. I think this one is the one for the very first mission, whereas the other one was the one for the second mission. Oh, you're right. Should I just do that quick, or... Because it's level Go 15. Go for it. Boss of that. Why not? You're, uh, you're sequence beefing. Exactly. Well, you're... Okay, yeah. so here's the weird thing about Twilight missions. And Doc, you tell me again if I'm wrong on this. Every day, they're like a daily kind of thing. Like, there's just like, hey, one of the super hard versions of a regular story mission is available today. So that's where I'm kind of like, I guess I should go for it. That sounds, mm -hmm. hmm. That sounds kind of like it's almost an interpretation of uh, uh, Demon Souls' world tendency. Hmm. Like, making yeah. it like, kind of like a, a mission thing as opposed to like a main playthrough adjustment. Right. Yeah, I didn't think about that at all. Demon Souls is my favorite of all the Souls games, so like I think about that and compare it to a lot of things as opposed to like Dark Souls. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. So, as yeah. far as I think, at least Demon Souls actually aimed, it somehow aged better than Dark Souls One did. So, yeah. is that? <laughs> and it's and it's also got like the ridiculous physics rolls in the air, and like that's why all the sequels are worse. They don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I? I can't just do a somersault and traverse 20 feet in the air. What is this? I think I might go back to giant fish. Shark. Water. You know? I like I like Isonade a lot. So so basically, so word. I, I don't know e exactly your experience with Neo, but I understand it not a lot. I right? have never played it, and I have not seen anything beyond like what? I think the first trip. So, functionally, you've seen nothing of it. Yeah. This is, this is the first time I've actually seen someone play the game. Alright, so this is actually, funnily enough, the first mission, kind of. <laughs> uh, but it's the Twilight mission, so everything's harder. So that, like, giant right, right. monster was supposed to be a regular soldier in the normal version of this mission, but now it's an Oni. Everything yep. is Oni. That's uh, Yoki. Uh, Yoki, you're right, Yoki. Well, it's... I think... That's one Yoki is the proper name for the enemy, but he is an Oni, yes. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna take and try to run for the exit, because this is like level 15, so I don't even think there's a whole lot to be gathered from this. I'm, a, I'm on level, what is it, like 56, I think? You're quite a bit higher than this. Yeah. Uh, although, hmm, that's a lot of relatively powerful enemies on top of each other. Ooh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, like you All right, took so you're dealing with. It looks like you lost like two fifths of your health bar from like one hit, unless you took one earlier, and I didn't realize it. Okay. Uh. All right. Oh, you've got yeah, a lot of friends. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Also, since uh, what's going on, mutant? For the record, we're also doing a game where, for three dollars, you can force me to change weapons or activate the nearest revenant, no matter what else what is going on. Just a warning: can't you can't activate revenants during whatever Neo considers a boss fight. That said, anytime the music changes, I think is basically what it is. Right. Like, uh, usually. <laughs> you jerk. Usually, enemies that pop out of the mist, those count as boss fights, sort of, because the music changes a little bit. They're like mini bosses, kind of. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You kill them, and they don't come back if you die and respawn. Right, right, right. Neo's yeah, kind of, kind of like the Invaders. Yeah. Neo is a weird game in that it, very, it there is some quote unquote obvious. Um, there, there are definite parallels, but it does its own thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think what yeah, yeah. its big standout thing is combat's pretty refined on it. One of the more interesting things is you can see like there's a red gauge and a purple gauge, right? 
red gauge being HP. Purple uh, human enemies uh, is stamina. And it's really cool because you have a sort of, you have like a little war of attrition with their stamina as well as managing your own. So you can do things right, like yeah, get like them. Right, them out. Exactly right, yeah. Now, demons, yokai, technically, um, the trick to them is they uh, they have, I forget what we called, but what's up, Paramarks? Uh, I, I think it's demon key. I think, I'm pretty sure. Demon yeah, key? Like, yeah. Yeah, demon it's key, key and demon key. key. That's that's the difference there. Right. Demon key and yokai. I've, I've, I've watched you, you hockey show. <laughs> so, you, know, you see, like, this is this remnant is more of a human enemy when it's winded, you can just, like, kick at, like, crushing move on it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. what was I saying, though? Um, yeah, Demon Key works, works kind of like it insofar as, like, you typically can't stun lock Oni, but unless they run out of Demon Key, and then, yes, you can. Um,. So, yeah. Just to make sure I understood that correctly, the way that they run out of it is different. So It is. Yeah. Yeah, Demon Key usually um, lowers as you hit them, like much lower than HP. And when they're out of it, you can start stun locking them. The only sort of like thing about it is they have these like little pools they create that recharge their Demon Key and sap your regular key, which is basically stamina. Mm -hmm. But you can clear those, and doing so gives you a damage boost, and gives like it increases your well, because you're doing a key pulse. It uh, does an active reload on your stamina more or less, right, uh, right. and it stops them from regening it so much, which means you can then get into sort of not quite a stun lock like loop because they're not ever so vulnerable as to make that happen. Right. But you can really take advantage of it. Right. So, it, it's basically it's basically kind of like uh, like an like a guard break system that has like kind of like an area of effect side result. Sort of, yeah, yeah, that's fair. You okay mind have living weapon? I do have living weapon. Um, so you mentioned previously that you're doing a thing where like you're kind of doing the fiesta thing of you know send a donation and I will, you know, do something that is going to break my current play style. Yep. Are you, like, currently being enforced to use the hammer, or is that by... That's my favorite weapon. Okay. I've seen that it definitely certainly Ooh. does, like, a bunch of, uh, focus firing damage. Doesn't seem to be too great for dealing with, like, groups or anything like that. It's not... Well, so that's actually based off of the stances. <laughs> so... Beef tends to use the, the hammer in high stance, which is, uh... High stance is the all-damage stance for every weapon, basically. It's very focused in on a single right, enemy, usually. Mode. And yeah, it, it's the aggressive, slow, commit, heavy attack uh, mode, pretty much. There's okay. also mid stance, which is better at blocking, and usually has better, like, sweeping attacks for crowds. And then there's low stance, which is better at dodging, and has, uh... Fast attacks, basically, is lower damage fast. Okay, so aggressive, defensive, and utility. More or less. It's more like aggressive and too defensive, but different kinds of defensive, depending on what you're looking for at the time. And, uh... The... What do you call it? Yeah, it's, it's situation about which one of the two is better at the time. Right, right. It's like There's also a bunch of... The boss? Yes. Hi. You had to fight Hino Enma, remember? Oh yeah, you're right. Shit. Alright. Well, here's the good news about this, uh... Relatively hard boss fight is... I like Neo a lot, and I played a lot of the demo, which means I've fought this guy a few times, so... <laughs> that's some good... The good... That's good... The partially good news. He's not particularly easy, that said. You know, but... With, from what I understand, a not as refined combat system, since they kind of use the demo as sort of like uh, an open key way. Exactly. Yeah. And the remarkable thing is that they listened a lot to the common complaints. Mm. Like, they listened to almost all of the big complaints people had to the game and yeah. fixed them, which is really, really refreshing, actually. It was a really good thing. Right, right. They listened worldwide, too, and just listened to a specific, uh, like, demographic or location. Right, right, right. Yeah. The, um... Yeah, and the demos were really, really fucking hard, you know? 
granted, that's like, what I heard. Yeah, like, it was really rough around the edges. It was also really difficult, and like, a good chunk of that came from being rough. Yeah. Yeah, like you the could. First the first one kind of gave a bad impression of the game, but by the Slowly second and network test third one, it actually, like, <laughs> impressions got better every time. Thanks, uh, Evil Crash, by the way. Who do I have to, who do I have to refer to? Oni-chan. Do I have to refer to that boss I just wrecked as? No problem. Um, yeah. By the way, Evil Crash, if you have a uh, weapon or revenant, let me know. But, um, that said, uh... What was I saying? Yeah, so, like, uh, uh, you know, one example was, like, you couldn't exactly, like, roll away or dodge away from an enemy without turning your back on them. And back mm. attacks did, like, double damage. Not like a soul's back attack where it's just one and then you get some iframes out of it. It was like, nah, you're right. pretty much dead now, you know? Right. It's like, welcome to, you know, the murder loop. Yeah, it was kind of, it was a lot. Like, I actually really did like it, but it was kind of a lot, you know? <laughs> There was uh, it, a lot is a good way to put the initial release of this. On top of that, like equipment had durability, and you had to either repair it or just move on to new ones that you got out of it, which uh, made micromanaging your equipment even worse and more of a pain in the ass. So, and they uh, changed this with the inverse of durability, pretty much. Where mm. weapons got better as you use but, them, as opposed to getting worse. Let's let's pick a mission mm. though. Do we want to progress in the story a little and go for Demon of Mount Kie, or Malefactors? I don't really have a horse in this race, so I mm. actually haven't seen Demon of Mount the Kie. next mission. Let's try it then. It's completely new to me. Yeah, it's a little above my level, but fuck it. It's Zinkai. Uh, barrier to keep fiends. Magical barrier is on the verge of the spikes Kelly's been planning. Okay. So the story more or less is, um, Edward Kelly? I forget his first name. Edward Kelly, yeah. Edward Kelly has stolen, um, our guardian spirit and has gone to Japan and is basically trying to help, I guess, Nobunaga? Um, oh no, he died. Nobunaga's so, dead. Yeah. So. Dead. Basically, he's fucking shit up with, with evil magic from the from Europe. And we have reason to come kill him do. kill him anyway and steal back yeah. our guardian spirit so yeah, the, the that terrible foreigner magic yeah the good news yeah and uh so william adams is of course real historical figure actual actual uh as is edward kelly as is edward kelly yeah so the game has yeah like figures like that and it kind of plays with them you know but about what's the time period uh, uh this is 1600 exact Yep. Okay. All right. So th this is this is like a good three hundred years before Matthew Perry. All right. <laughs> yes. A good. I think there was like, what two hundred twenty? This is right before, like about twenty years, fifteen to twenty years before they enter the uh, isolation period. Right. 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 Yeah. Seems like a pretty cool level. I mean, it's very. It is admittedly pretty similar, I guess, to that other rain stage, but. Mm. That was a little more. Like, I don't know anything about it so far. Yeah, it's got. Um... Oh, that's interesting. The crystals are doing something with the monsters. Actually, those crystals there, uh, that's Amrita, which is the kind of like plot stone of the game where it's full of mysterious power. Uh, that's actually why Ever Kelly is here. Uh, Japan is full of it. There's like tons and tons of it. Mm. And uh, basically. Who Edward Kelly was ordered to uh, secure it for England by someone. We're not sure. He was talking to someone at the very start of the game about it, but we don't know who that someone was. Gotcha. So since you just got canned, uh, catch me up on what death penalty is in this game. You leave behind it's a exactly grave. the same yeah. as a Souls game, right? With one exception in that there's also living weapon. If you don't grab the living weapon, you lose the charge of it. So, if you don't grab your uh, your souls, basically, you both lose the the wow. your souls and the living weapon charge. I couldn't destroy okay. those crystals. Uh, that was weird. They like regenerated their um, health, mm. for lack of a better term. Maybe wonder, you gotta deal with big and ugly first. Maybe you're right, actually. I mean, I was thinking of it the other way, like they would regenerate him, but maybe, yeah, I can't. Because there's, see, like there's that one here that I got rid of, but yeah. 
And this enemy is officially one eyed one eyed only, right? Yeah. So, actually, almost every single character in this game is some form of historical person. That's neat. There's, like, a couple who are not. Like, the, uh... There's one person we've met, Okatsu, who, uh, is not. But is a recurring character in... What is this? Is that like Namco? This is a Namco game, right? Technically with uh, Team Ninja. Is it? I didn't realize that, actually. I, thought this was just I don't know. Koei Tecmo, that's what I was thinking of. Sorry, I didn't remember exactly what I was thinking uh, Didn't exactly remember. Yeah, Okatsu is actually a recurring character in Koei Tecmo games. Whoa, the hell, though? Yeah, it is, re it is regening for certain. But you are willing him down. Do you have any tools that can, like, do damage over time to kind of stymie that effect? Um... Fire elemental. You probably have a poison uh, talisman as well, or something like that. I was thinking of setting them on fire, but like that, that also works. Yeah, yeah. that's that. kind of where my head was going. I can't tell though if he was. Uh, I don't think he was a missed one, right? So he might. I don't think so. Yeah. Looks like fire is the way to go for those things. That after it stopped regenerating, it just kind of felt like a house of cards. Yeah. Making progress. There you go. There so, you go. Um, yeah. So, if, if you're unfamiliar with the mechanics of this game, the most fun one, I think, is you notice my stamina has that little blue meter fill, and if you miss it, then it recharges like a game. But that blue meter fill is uh, basically the active reload thing that Doc was talking about earlier. And if you mm -hmm. hit yeah. R1 while that's happening, you gain back what's there. It's called a key pulse, and doing a okay. full, and doing it when it's like full at the right time, um, will do things like uh, allow, uh, like clear out yokai pools and things like that. Um, yep. Yep. Right. Right. There's one other cool thing about it. Oh yeah. Just like keep him with the rhythm of battle. And if you don't want to watch the meter, if you see there's sparkly shit around William that kind of like coalesces in a flash, that's like another right, yeah. tell for when you want you can do that. Mm. Yeah, that's a very fighting game tell. <laughs> yeah. You can also technically uh, do it at any point instead of just doing it a perfect one, and that's better than not doing it at all. Right. But you're going for the perfect ones are always is always best. And right, there's right. yeah, and there's like kind of a risk reward there too, because you're typically fighting somebody while you're doing that, so it's like you kinda have to like watch this meter while or you know, this effect. But you can't attack either, so you, it's like, do I interrupt a combo, go for a key pulse here? Do I go all out and then do the key pulse later when I have to wait a little longer to do it? It's like a whole thing, you know? Yeah. I, I'm guessing you can't, like, uh, dodge cancel out of it. Actually, Actually <laughs> there is a, there's an upgrade that you can get where dodging is what is something that can trigger a key pulse. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's, like, one of my big... Uh, Perfect is preferred is pure. You purify when you do. Yeah. So you can see like there's that pool where like, see like my uh, my thing is red and it charges full. So it's because that's a pool. But if you yeah, do it, yeah, like then then there's the normal map on the ground. Yep. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Gosh, such... down. Isn't that a grenade? Oh, there's cat. There's the cat guardian. Nickel something. Yep. That is just Nekamata, right there. Ah, uh, just Nekamata, okay. Ooh, what are you? That just appears to be a wizard, right there. Yeah, that, that actually looks like a Souls character. <laughs> that is an Onmyo Mage of some kind. Ooh, what the? So that thing that looks like a lost soul, which I will call a lost soul, is actually kind of an elemental dude, but that said, it, I will always call it, refer to it as a lost soul, because... Because it, Doom. It, yeah, because Doom and... What the F? Oh! Oh! Fox. I know. Hello! Oh, oh man! Cool spin! Hmm. This thing seems dodgy enough that you're... Aggressive stance is uh, questionable against it. Mm -hmm. True. This is a DLC enemy. Oh, they added these, some DLC enemies into the main game. That's pretty neat of them. I didn't know that. Oh, interesting. All right, that's uh, 
that's I'm gonna guess some kind of kitsune. Hmm? Oh. See so, given that that means fox, yes. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, I can't tell if that means that it is a young. It is a young one. It is not particularly old. Yep. The more tails, the older they are. Just like Nikomato. Yep. Nikomato usually cap out at two, although theoretically, I suppose it could go up to his. I don't know how long. Uh, most powerful kids in there go up to nine, which is where the nine tailed fox as the concept comes from. Mm, and uh, one of the most famous yokai of Japan, Tamame no Mo. Uh, Tamame. No, Tamamo no Mai, I think it is. Uh, is a particularly nasty nine tailed fox. I am particularly good at what I do. I see you discovered the weakness of wizards, which is shooting them in the head with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> but with Doc, I didn't get to watch. I did you on Arcade Pit. Oh, uh, we won. Yay. Congrats. Yeah. We were Team Meat Pit. Just Meat Pit. I haven't been on Arcade Pit in like two years or something. Well, let's get on. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. I'll fight you. Whoa. I'll go on any <laughs> time. All right. Uh, it's more a matter of getting Smite to actually select me. That seems to be the challenging part. Come with me. I have uh, a slightly you... better. I have a slightly better rate of getting on uh, Arcade Pit than I do scoring an interview from a job application, but not much. <laughs> yeah. Rough. I don't know that there is like any sort of formal process to it, you know. But there isn't, especially not like now where he's got a pretty good stable of people he trusts about it. But yeah. uh, if you, if you. Like, Slobby could just like get you on, no problem. Hmm. Like, I mean, yeah, no like, problem. Uh, the I'm big, the, like, like one of the bigger things is like uh, usually I have uh, tabletop at this time, but uh, mm -hmm. the DM for that game is uh, my friend Sketch, who, uh, who you've actually met Slobby, uh, Michael Skitchiano. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he's the one who actually runs that game, so, uh, like, he's at GDC this week, so I've got this week off, but he's the one uh, doing tabletop on Sunday evenings. I have not played a tabletop game in ages. I'd love to. I haven't played, um, my, I played one for the, uh, RP podcast back in the day, and I was really... Yeah, you played Dungeon World, and that was hilarious, because you're like, no one likes the rope. Really? Okay. I like, yeah, I mean, that's the, that was my favorite part. Is, yeah. <laughs> you're the most sensible person there. It was great. Well, that's, I don't know, I didn't know, like, how to play it, so I was just like, so you're, like, an adventurer, and you pretend, you know, and then other people who are more experienced are like, no, you, you do, played it you do wacky you, stuff. It's your life. But, you know. You, yeah. you played it just fine. You know, it's like, the rest you of them the wanted to be over-the-top goobs, but, like, the way you were doing it is entirely valid also. Okay, so here's the th secret beef. Mm -hmm. When you're just starting out, you, you do it non-serious like that, and you play it by ear, and you just have fun and all that. And then when you play it for a little bit, you know, a little bit more, you start to get serious about it. But then when you've played a lot, you go right back to how you were doing it. <laughs> that mm. sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, the last uh, fucking game I played, uh, it was actually just a D&D game for the first time in ages. And, uh, I mean, we're all making characters and all that, and, uh, I played a wizard who is a mailman. That's it. He's a mailman. He delivers mail. That's all he is. He's all about mail yeah, and nothing getting, else. Getting used to that sending spell, huh? No. He actually <laughs> delivered mail by horse. Just on the <laughs> horse and everything. Yeah, he uh, was a wizard. Steve. But... No, it was just a real horse. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real horse. Made Maystar. I spent a lot of money on character creation for it because this is how it works. <laughs> Fair enough. That's, this is like a uh, structure. I just, I guess, you just don't enter. That's interesting. Oh, it looks like a shrine. Mm. It looks like the kind of thing like a side quest would point you here, and then the door would open or something like that. Right. Yeah. On the subject of tabletop games, like I've, like I've plugged this several times, and you've been most gracious about it, Beef, I must say. Mm. Uh, but my friend has been making one for a year, and I'm the co-developer on that, and it's, uh, it's a game called... Whoa, Hotter whoa, Behind. whoa! It wasn't time to put. I'm joking. Please go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's relevant. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and, uh, 
Yeah, Oddity High is, uh, uh, as, as it's pitched on the uh, Kickstarter page that, uh, that succeeded last year, which you know, at this point, I guess. Uh, it is an RPG about uh, espers, aliens, and other normal Japanese high school students. Gotcha. Makes sense. And uh, we've actually uh, started recording, uh, yeah. like, uh, what's the word I want to use here? Actual play? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go with that. We've been like, it's like an actual, like, demonstration game using, like, like I'm, I'm like, uh, my friend uh, Staghorn is uh, one running it, because you know, it's his game. Mm -hmm. and, like, I'm a player, and then there's also some folks from, uh, like, mm -hmm. our personal circles, as well as Roll to Breathe. Okay. And uh, we have recorded uh, four sessions now, and I just finished the uh, audio editing for the first session on Friday. There were many errors made on that one. It took me way longer than it had any right to to get that all done. <laughs> That's fair. It took me like 24 hours to get like almost four hours of audio done, but at the end of it, I carved off like 80 minutes. Uh, nice. Sorry, I heard something growl. I guess all I see is this guy here. By the way, one fun thing is that, you know, and I, I, what I really like about this game is the projectile weapons are a lot of fun to use. They have mm -hmm. bows and arrows, obviously, but they also have like match locks and hand cannons, Forever. which are just, you know, they're fun. Bang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing is, uh, the gun that you have now actually is, uh, like I said, it's a flint lock. They've actually moved beyond the match locks. Cause that's pretty cool. Oh, dear. It's like a rifle you have. Ah, uh, right. Funny, though. These guys. Not a big monk. Yeah. Big boys. Yeah, the oh, last thing I'll say about oh, uh, and he's getting high, just to conclude the thought, is, uh, uh, I'm going to be uh, uh, putting it on uh, the Let's Play Zone, similar to how uh, Ironicus and Six Feet Thunder do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, look for it there. You have a living weapon, just remember that. Yeah, that could be a concern. By the power of fish! Indeed. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Whoa, oh! What? Oh, you oh. killed both of them immediately by doing that. Okay, that worked out. Nice. I thought that was going to be tragic. By the power of Starkist. That was beautiful. I love you. I love you, shark friend. So, <laughs> I wonder if... Is the, are these enemies, like... Maybe unkillables are not the right word, but they're technically supposed to be kind of like... No, 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 you got to figure out how to get rid of the crystal, you know? I guess, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if hand cannon would be a good way to get rid of the crystal then, because it does a ton of damage yeah. in one shot, you know? I bet this is... Uh, I, I bet that's a Mujina. I'm willing to bet that is going to be a Mujina or something. Yeah, I think it can't, that can't be the only, like, trap. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, like, look at this. Look at this whole place. This just screams, like, free treasure chest for the stupid, you know? <laughs> Can you, like... Oh, just... Well, I, like... I'm guessing, like, whatever you mentioned was basically, like, your mimic analog. Yeah. Is it, uh, yeah. Is it possible to just, like, stand at a distance and just shoot it with an arrow or something? No, to no. It? it actually mm -hmm. isn't. They pop out of the chest, and uh, they've ah. got a little ex different thing entirely going on. I see. So mm -hmm. it's not the box is the monster. They're actually using the box as cover. I almost yeah. don't want to spoil it, because if you see it, it's very, 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 like, um, charming, you know? Like, I think, like... Mimics are very annoying and you know, whatever, and they're kind of their own thing in Souls games. But like, what they do here, what is it called again? I, I forget the name. Mujina. Mujina. The Mujina are like, it's really kind of fun and neat. You know, it's it's very one note, but yeah. It, that, it sounds like they're just like, a, like a very violent Jack in the Box. They're that's the thing. They're not actually all that violent. Yeah. Huh. It's neat. What the? Oh, this guy. There's some dick off to the left there, yeah. So I'm guessing... 7,000! Oh. I'm guessing your limitation on ranged weapons is ammunition. Uh, timing is a big one, too. This is a very fast-paced game. And by the way, yes, also ammunition. Sure. But, like, um... 
it, it takes a while to ready a shot and if you're in combat like uh, it's like let's hope you're let's hope you're pretty far away like hand cannon also you can't move and the others you can move right. slower you know right uh nuts. Nah, okay you do a decent number on it but it, it regenerates too fast yeah hmm. actually uh, trying the g-op method what? Firebombs are great. Uh, As Geop proved, yes. <laughs> look, they're on. The, it's on the radar, that crystal. Yep, no, I bet you have to destroy all those. Hello, Shadowhog. Can you, uh, can you do that, like, enchant weapon thing with a ranged weapon, or is it melee only? Melee, melee only. only. Okay. Um, and I'm out of that particular one, but maybe what else do I have? Um, uh, um, lightning amulet's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Elements elements work a little weird in this game, I think, because they wanted to be different. Like, lightning is like a slow effect on things. There's a status effect associated with every element. Uh, fire sets things on fire. Mm. Uh, lightning makes that enemy attacks, get, <laughs> and movements get slower. Right, paralysis. Sort of, yeah. There's actually a different paralysis, which makes them stop entirely. Damn it. Okay. At a guess, I'm guessing that would be like uh, stone. Or nope, like, actually, uh, there's actually just a different paralysis status effect flat out. It's just by itself, it's not an element. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we get him too far away, if there would be an effect stop on it. Does seem pretty reluctant to move much farther. Yeah. Why don't you shoot him in the eye with the hand cannon? Because you do more damage if you do that. I was thinking, why not take out his entourage over there so you can actually focus on him alone? I'm wondering. What's in the box? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to just get the treasure and get the bust out, kind of, but. That's a little... oh boy, that was not a great idea of mine. All right. Yeah, it's just a piece of armor, too. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Ah, alright, that's gonna be really hard I think, still. I think the more enemies that are alive... It's kind of like one or the other. The yeah. more enemies that are alive, the tougher that is, but also... You know... They are also tougher as long as it's alive. Mm-hmm. See though, like, like Skelly, Skelly here, who I did kite away. I don't. It's, he, he is regenning still, actually. It doesn't definitely doesn't seem to be a factor at all. Yeah, the the tether on the radar is still like stretching out. Oh yeah, you're right. The tether. Um. Hey, stupid! Turn around. See. Oh, I'm out of hand cannon. Cool. Okay. I will say I do appreciate that, oh, like, shit. the ranged weapons are actually, like, rather potent. Yeah. Ooh, hey, doesn't like that. Yeah, yeah getting shot in the eye. <laughs> Damn it. Pretty rough. Well, uh, while the thing was, like, stunned from getting, you know, eye blasted, uh, would you have been able to, like, Swing around behind and do a backstrike of any particular note? Not really, it's no. Not like, not like you're okay. thinking where it, like, pa it, not pauses the game, but you know what I mean. I know what you're, I know what you're saying with, like, Dark Souls. How There's no like, special effect, okay. Yeah, exactly. It does right, hit harder, hard. mind you. It's just that it's, like, it's right. still, like, normal attack. It's a good plan. It's not going to get you, like, the super move. Right. Okay. That's kind of all I was checking for. Lord knows I used enough elixir on that. Oh, but I got one back. I do like the uh, the visual aesthetic going on as uh, this whole thing has been carrying on. Oh, there's a friend back there. Oh yes, thanks, Gekulon. I forgot about that. 
Oh wow, that really does a number on them. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That, okay, you have your hands now. <laughs> yeah, spin to win is really fun. Um, only thing is, like, it eats your stamina. And this is a game, like, if you get caught without stamina, you're either getting a super move done on you, or you're just dead. Yeah, you're... Mm -hmm. It's super, yeah. super bad to get caught with your pants down like that. It will yeah. ruin you. Uh -huh. Whoa! Is that a new way? <gasps> that was Fuck. a boss not a, not, a, not a very long time ago. Um, God damn. That was a boss <laughs> I was stuck on for a bit not a long time ago. Shit. I have enough for a new uh, level, though, at least. You didn't look, you didn't watch the fucking cop. I fuck, I forgot. Um, so those are Kodama. They are, uh, very cute. They are. They're like little green guys in teacups. Um, with tea, well, no, rice bowl hats, I guess, not teacups. Yeah. yeah. Rice or soup oh, bowls. Oh, see? And here's oh, another one. Yep. And when you, uh, send them back to the shrine, they bow and then they wave for, uh, at you. And it's adorable. If you don't watch that, it makes you a cop. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's a shrine right here, actually. <laughs> All right. Danny Glover cop or Wei Shen cop? Ah, uh, hmm. Let's receive the Kadamba blessing. I'll take the healer blessing, why not? Because uh, I like the healer blessing. Uh, and I'll just level up. Oh, I have 71,000 on Rita, which is pretty great. Yeah, what the heck? Level 58. This is a level 61 level, I think? So, Amrita equals souls as far as currency is concerned? Or blood yeah. echoes, if you prefer. But yeah. The, the uh, thing is, actually, there is also just money as well. It's right above it. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Money is only really used, though, for buying stuff at the blacksmith and buying items and stuff. Ooh, what? Ooh, oh, what? What? Welcome okay. to Wizard Pit! The Wizard Pit, where wizards live! <laughs> Here is Wizard Hut. We found it at last. Wow, my living weapon barely helped. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. It looks like you got. No, you didn't. You actually didn't kill anything with that. You killed like one Oni and That's it. Which are what? Which is the proper name for the Lost Souls? Oni. Oni B. Oni B. Right. Oh no. Pokemon paralysis. Eat the fucking elixir! Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, you got damage down and you're slowed and. Yep. Wizard Pit seems pretty rough. Yeah, that damage down is severe. Damn. Whew. At least I got the Grapple Novice uh, title. Yeah, that move that you just pulled on that dude. I'm guessing that was like an execution attack. That that bought you the time you needed to go for your car. That. Yeah, that's that's your move. If you you get a move like that, like if they run if you catch them with no stamina. They also get a move like that, but they also get to do that to you, which is fun. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do about that new way. I have to imagine it's not nearly as hard as it was as a boss. It's but, likely got way less health, yeah. So, so I have a question, like, there's a bunch of enemies here with their backs to you. Can you, you know, walk slowly and sneak up on them? Yep. There's, like, ninjutsu moves, like, items and moves, too. That's, like, a kind of a class. If Hattori Hans is your boss, I hope so. He's not really your boss. He's one of your friends, so. And he's got a cat box. Even still. <laughs> if he's an associate of yours, I would hope so. And I, and I, and I, need to, I just need to repeat that he had a cat clock. <laughs> well, everyone should have a cat clock. Yeah, it was pretty great, honestly. Uh, I, I, I just switched to low stance because I'm like, one more will do it, so I gotta. But. Yeah, like defense was the right plan for those things. Those things, those, those strike me very much as you know. Uh, Block and punish is the way to go with them, rather than anything more aggressive, since they're so mobile. Piles of books. Nerds, nerd books. Nerd home. Nerd time. Nerd pit. Uh, I'll be back. Alrighty. Doc, do you have anything you want to plug, by the way? 
I mean, just the thing I've been plugging for the past, like, a uh, few weeks where I've, I've got a marathon coming up on the 20th from 7 to 11. Uh, that's 7 a.m. EST to oh. 11 p.m. EST. Hmm. That's on Wednesday. And also on that same day, uh, I have the deadline for my, you know, the symposium of voice acting thing. So if you want to, uh, if you want to do some voice acting, that's or and want to get paid for doing so, I really recommend you uh, pop in and go for either source of here, the casting call club, if you have an account there already, or not. You can also do it through here, submitting a uh, a audition to the email address I provide. You know what I just realized? Yeah. That new way. The, the gimmick to him is that is an extraordinarily dangerous crystal I have to destroy. Good point. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm hoping to get a living weapon. That would help. Mm hmm. Alright. Unfortunately, that other. The Kitsune. Or whatever it is. I don't know. That's, you you could making, probably just call it a fox. Alright. The fox is not making shit easier. He's saying that's like a boss, but don't bother killing it, maybe. I don't know. Uh, if you wanted to grab Living Weapon manually, you can use Soul, uh, Amrita items, the Soul, uh, Spear Center and stuff. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's something that someone mentioned uh, a while ago, where that's basically how you get Living Weapon to start with. You're charging it up with Amrita, so... Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm back. Okay. Alright, so I think we figured there's the crystal. I think it's that one. Or. It's not on my radar. So basically, what I told Doc is I think what's going on here is that boss is just. That boss is super dangerous when I fought it. Um, that's like mm -hmm. a super. It, it's basically a really hard crystal I have to destroy, you know? Mm hmm. Like, rather, it's like, don't, it's like, don't fight that boss like you would fight a boss. Just, like, get rid of the crystal. Right. That said, it's also not really, the boss door appears to be up there, unless there's, like, an item over there I need, which is, like, a cave sometimes, you know. Alright, let's see, um, what we can do here. Um... Huh. Oh. Okay. Hello? Commencing operations. Hey, can you hear me? YFSO7 or whatever. Yeah, no, 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 I'm sorry. I said hello because, like, I was not expecting a oh, boss yeah. door. Oh, hey, Kelly. Hmm. Look at that Amrita dinner he has planned. Thanks, Denzel. That's a pretty good dish. Alright, that was yours, awesome. <coughs> oh, Kelly learned how to speak Japanese. Or telepath it. That is the first set of lines he said in Japanese at all. You're right. Oh, good sneer. That was actually a real good sneer. I like that. Got a Thomas? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this a... Oh my. Oh no. Oh boy. I need a shockingly lawful good make a lot of Oh. Oh boy. Yako. Okay, Yako. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
That's that's certainly an interpretation of how one gets to this. So, Yako here, White Tiger, um, one of the direction beasts. One of the uh, what are those called? Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly their name, but it's Jitenyo. Okay, yeah. Oh. Uh, Yako is the what, White Tiger of the West, I think. Wait, Shitenyo is in one of the four heavenly kings. Not one of the four heavenly kings, technically. That's that's the uh, four Buddhist ones. That, uh, that's the one that's with true. It, and it's kind of like uh, there's Shitenyo by the calendar sort of thing. Just everything gets fun with Shitenyo these days. <laughs> anyway, there's the four direction guys. There's the black turtle, the white tiger, the uh, vermilion bird, and the blue dragon. And there's also technically the the yellow Kirin, uh, Chirin, sorry, Chilin or Kirin. Uh, Genbu is south, Sadaku is north. Okay, then yeah, White Tiger of the West, I was right. So you just got west sided beef. Mm -hmm. Yep, you did. Alright, so that uh, fucking, that new way is way out of the way. You don't have to fight that at all, it seems like. That's an optional thing. With that said, do you want to do the optional thing? Yes. Um, okay. I'll tell you why. Because my other theory with Welcome back to Wizard Pit! The nerf <laughs> I don't have time for Wizard Pit. Um, oh, it's a cheapo for fighting that new way. Nice. Wait, if you want to fly on a flat. Fighting that specific new way. Let me ask this. Uh, that's it. Wait, now, can I ask a question? Is there a Chivo for fighting the new way? I mean, I don't want to, you know, or is it like. Am I just right? Getting past it. Yeah, is what I'm asking. About if you destroy the, the crystal, that destroys it. Yeah. Okay, so you have to actually kill it. You don't have to, uh, it's oh. not for destroying the crystal. God damn it. At the same time, if there's a Chivo for killing it, is the Chivo for killing it at an appropriate level, or can you just come back and just completely crush it? Oh, Welcome God. back to Wizard Pit! <laughs> I hate you, Wizard Pit. I don't Nerd know hole returns! See, if you keep failing spot checks. I'm laughing at the animation, not the circumstance. It's okay. <laughs> I'm laughing at both. I can come back and do it. Okay. Why so scared of the new A? So here's why. New, new a, a kicked his ass. Yeah. New A was a um, roadblock boss. Hit again. Oh, hello. Let me ask this, um, I forget, Him Himogor Himorogi Branch, does that bring me to Last Shrine? Or does that bring me out uh, of I think it brings you to Last Shrine? I, I don't know, actually. But we use uh, the new A, right? You know, I think it, no, I think it does bring you to the Last Shrine. Because, um, I remember, I, I had the same dilemma where it's like, I wanna... Apparently it brings you out of the level. Oh, what? Yeah. Someone saying it, at least. Right, how much on Rita? Oh, 37. Sucks, that's a lot. Well... You can come back and fight that new egg. You don't have to do it now. It's not really the new egg I'm so concerned with. It's, uh, it's like, if I exit the level, I have to do all this crystal stuff again, you know? Yes, you will. That always happens when you exit the level. You have to do the, the, those mechanics again. That's the part that I'm not. Alright, so I'm gonna say another thing. This is. Alright, what, what is difficult seeming about this boss is the amount of damage it does when it connects, you know? But that said, I mean. Seems pretty easier than Yukiona oh, so far. But not, yeah, not even a close call. Yukiona was way rougher than this. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that amuses me. It's like, okay, the ghost of a woman that froze to death is more powerful than the Ooh, White what? Tiger of the West. For what it's worth, that was a very, very important woman. That was the wife of Oda Nobunaga. Fair enough. Also, she was very intimidating. Pretty cool. She was really cool, honestly, yeah. 
Eat the elixir. Ooh, boy, what? Cool beam. I'm going to assume the thing that uh, you do to break this uh, enemy's demon heal really easily is hitting it in the face. See, so at the eye. Yeah. Like yeah, that? easy. Yep. Down a third, but I'm down both four elixirs. So. You're also pretty close to getting a looking weapon back. Oh, that's a good point. Even if this is, you know, isn't the run for this, this is going pretty well and you look like you're getting a good idea of how to do it. Yeah. No. Yeah, I feel like, uh... I feel like this boss is going to be doable, like, soon. This is Solid Snake. Thanks for subscribing to Slow. Whoa. Thanks, Longshoreman X. That's a <laughs> deep-ass cut. Longshoreman X. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dead to rights. Dead to rights. Um... Ah, oh, what a game. <laughs> I was going to say something ridiculous. I'm surprised I didn't do more with that than I remember. That's breaking. Wizard Hunt. Oh, okay. oh, you almost fell down into the Wizard Pit again. <laughs> Where was it? Wait, hold on. It's right, right there. there. That's why I keep falling down it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to see. That's what Wizard Hut is. <laughs> wizard Pit. Not Hut. It's not like Pizza Hut. Like, hey, you want some wizards? I know the place for you, you know. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, the death trap for the, the boss fight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Wizard Hut. May I recommend a lightning stunt for us? <laughs> Wizard huts, by the way, are uh, just—that's what you call abandoned pizza huts. Let's do it. Let's... Especially if they're part of a Kentaco hut, or the combination Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Quite a big cat. You did almost have Lumen Weapon back, so I do recommend grabbing that you're you're staying. Did you say my stain? I did say you're staying, yes. Oh. I thought you said stand. <laughs> oh my god. The pro yeah. Good swings. So left, right swings seem to be the most dangerous thing this thing does. Yeah, they're just like you can kind of. Uh, it, there's a tell for it, but they're just really getting quit damn quick, you know. All right. So the other good news is it's not that bad of a run to the boss. You know, it's like maybe a little annoying, but not too bad. So yeah, as long as you. As long as you don't fall into wizard hit. I did not fall into wizard hit. You know, one other thing I will say though is because other other levels had a sort of thing where like the boss was easier if you collected pieces of like fragments and blah blah blah. So I am I I was kind of wondering if destroying the new A crystal there like actually um where am I, where am I, where am I, where here actually like would make this boss fight a little easier. But that hmm. said, it, I want to say it's not hard. It just didn't seem you know. It seems to me like you're not doing all that much damage to it. Like you, like on on the best run that you did, you got like 15 combo strings off on it, and you only knocked off about like a quarter of its health. At the same time, that right there was one full swing. Yeah. Enemies and bosses in Neo do have a fair amount of health for what yeah. it's worth, just in general. In fact, there's one boss who's like horrible gimmick is that he has super high defense and he would be a great boss fight except for that that terrible idea i i'm still kind of like the team ninja you know better you know like, or maybe they don't. i think most people generally agree that umibozu is probably the worst boss in the game there's a way to cheese it so you do a ton of damage to it but still yeah but damage over time uh, it's, there's a, a there's a ma item called the Hotoko Mask that does a lot of fire damage, and if you time it just right with, uh, when its defenses are down, you just completely shred it to bits. Mm. 
Uh, well, floating weapons, by the way. I see it. Saving it. Wow! Oh. Sweeps! Beam sweeps! Okay. All the sweeps weak! Oh my god! Okay. Form, yeah, form two or stage two of this fight is. Yikes. Oh god. Oh my. Oh, beam sweep combos. Okay. Yeah. Now it's my combine. Water debuff. Makes enemies take more damage. Oh, dear. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, oh no. Stamina back. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder Very if, close. I wonder if I'd gotten greedy there and done a spin to win if that would have done it. I think you would have been better off just using a potion. I didn't have I was out. You didn't have any. Yeah, yeah. you were out. Yeah. yeah no, I oh, I would have if I could. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Typically, it probably would have, but the thing is you were in low stance, you don't have that as a fit move to do in low stance. I think that's high and mid only. Mm-hmm. So you'd have to have switched as well. Switching time. You probably actually would have been fine on high stance and done a strong attack. That probably would have killed it. Okay. So normally, too, yeah, I don't love, like, having... You know what I mean? Like, these sort of bang your head against the boss for an hour type of thing. But that said, I feel like we're really goddamn close. Yeah. For what's worth, uh, Living Weapon only did, like, maybe a quarter of its health there. So you can definitely do this without it. Yeah. And on top of that, you only now realize that it does beam sweep combos. Yes. Rosa Butzenberg says I found this boss in the video. Boss run. Oh, the run. The I thought you meant like my last attempt at it. But sorry. <laughs> yeah, it seems like this is a boss where like just being close is the safest thing you can do as long as. You're not that's true of a lot of bosses. In general, it's just that the bosses are also good at trying to force you to get out, of, uh, get back. Yeah, like, like this bastard keeps like doing like really long back dodges. <laughs> like Yukiona has a boss fight. One we talked about earlier was uh, basically a boss fight about her constantly trying to force you to dodge back at all times, mm -hmm. um, so she can do a big dash attack that's really hard to dodge. Yeah. But uh, right. if you keep close to her, then she, you know, she can't do that. But she's got dangerous attacks while you're close to her as well, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Delicate dance. This is like, like if you know, it's like for. Again, I know it's old, like kind of thing, really, but, but like this is a lot more intense than a soul fight usually goes. I find, you know, for the. Oh, this is way faster. Than like, some people are like, they like, they like this, like, combat, best, the best of all. Wow, that was a bad one. Um, of all the souls, like, they like it better than Bloodborne, I guess I should say. Not all the souls, I shouldn't say that. But, I can um, see that. Yeah. There's a certain level of, uh, of like, complexity that uh, it has that the other games extremely do not. At the same time, it's also reasonable, I think, to prefer something a little bit more simple, because there's a lot of... This game can very easily overwhelm you with options, actually, I mm. think. No, I agree. And uh, the other ones don't, in comparison. Yeah. I, I'm looking at this, and like my takeaway is, like, this looks fun, and I'm fairly confident that I would enjoy it. I hated uh, Dark Souls 3, and I don't even want to touch Bloodborne, because I didn't really like how they were taking, like, uh, more fast-paced combat in as a direction from uh, the earlier Souls game, because I actually really liked the more deliberate nature of those. Mm -hmm. I'm actually and kind of like, I think this, I think this achieves that angle better. Mm -hmm. 
I'm a, I prefer the slower pace of Demon Souls, Dark Souls 2 specifically. Ones is kind of rough. I'm of the, I'm I'm like the uh, I'm the person with like the only person with the mindset of Demon Souls is my favorite, DS2 is my second favorite. Or, yeah. That that is a rare rare stance, I think, because I, I I thought my yes. stance was where Dark Souls 2 is my favorite of the three. <laughs> of the, well, of the four, I guess you'd say. I was gonna say, Doc, but you like Demon a lot too, right? I do, but not not to the same extent. Like I I really enjoyed my replay through with Demon Souls. I did. I like Demon Souls. But, like yeah. Like, but it's not a game that I, I go back and play through at least once a year kind of thing. Like, the, the thing that I really like about Demon Souls is, like, I actually don't like the kind of, like, open-ish world thing that Dark Souls brought about. I actually liked the more structured levels. Yeah, that's fair. And it's like, each of them has, like, you know, kind of like a subtle theme going. It's like, okay, so, like... Level two, there's like all this fire stuff. You know, you don't want to use that. You want to use that. Boom! Super move! I did not know that you would have a grab from the back with its tails. <laughs> that's that's kind of great. I mean, that's that's kinda surprising. Kinda and you know what was nice? It wasn't like insta kill. You know what I mean? Like that was. Mm-hmm. Like, even Yuki Ona is, like, really hard. Fuck, like, fuck all, like, stay the fuck away from me, dash kind of move. Even that's not insta-kill, although it's very damaging. Like, Neo's pretty goddamn fair, you know? Like, yeah. there's little gotchas here and there, but it's, like, mostly pretty good about shit like that. Yeah, like, that was, that was one of, like, the big problems that I had with DS3, is, like, everything hit so freaking hard that a lot of things for me were just one-shots. Yeah, that's one of my biggest complaints with Dark Souls 3 as well. The damage is just too high and overtuned. Oh, what the? They basically don't have 27 vitality or bigger in that game. You are not going to have a great time with it because the game really expects you to. Yeah, and that's kind of like the thing that screws me up because like I never boost the health stat when I play those kind of games because like, okay, I'm going to yeah, this, but, you know, I'm not... I'm not trying to take hits, I'm trying to avoid hits. I shouldn't be shooting. So I don't ever boost the health. God, okay. Did you run in Oh no. Come there on! There we go. Success! You now have an open nose. It only took like four tries. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a relatively common uh, on Mio and Dallas, like magic invocation thing that pops up in a lot of Japanese media. You ever played Shadow Hearts? That's a thing that uh, Zhuzhen says every time he casts a spell, amongst other things. Bye-bye, Neko Dama. Nekamata. Uh, William would have will, William would have made that mistake. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's why you wanted that. <laughs> Peace, right up there. Right in the sky. No, I didn't mean literally. Alright. 
that was that was a fun boss. I did like I did like it. Maybe a little easier. Yeah. But fun boss. Beat. Seemed pretty neat. Seemed well, pretty dang fair on the whole. But the word you're being uh, asked if you can uh, link your, the, link your uh, friend's uh, RPG. Or your RPG, uh, or your both of your RPGs, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll have to actually um, open up the Twitch page. That's a hat. <laughs> yes. That is a hat. Onmyo fashion is very, very hat based, and they are very large. Get that hat. <laughs> Oh, I see. I, I'm I'm seeing the comment now. Uh, I have not uploaded the audio for that yet. I only just finished editing it uh, recently, and there's more I want to take care of before I release it. So that's probably going to be a uh, uh, something later this week. But uh, there, there uh, just uh, just keep an eye on the Let's Play Zone because that's where I'm going to be like posting a thread for it. Cat seems out of source. Uh oh. Twilight mission: the best and the worst unlocked. Here is about Leading spider lovely level 90. No, thank you. Oh, proceed to next region. Huh. Oh, that was the final boss of this area. Interesting. That is interesting. Uh, yeah, going back to how I was saying, that I like nice. the uh, the structured level progression of Demon Souls more than the open things like this seems like this actually does that also with this with this setup sort of yeah yeah so it's more linear in that in demon souls you can do any of the other four worlds when mm -hmm. you want whenever you want in this one you do have to do the story missions to progress and they are a lot along a line but yeah, that's fine um what level am i i'm trying to think of what we can do here because i'm yeah, level i 59. Mm -hmm. I think that Dark Souls 2 does the Demon Souls thing about like pretty much because it's just got the four distinct paths mm -hmm. in the same and, and they like pretty the much just the same them way. Is pretty minimal. It's basically none at all. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking hat. Who are you? Tono no Oraru Surugaiwa. Washira Shinobi Dokega Shiru Hayamichigaru. Okay, I'll, I'll unlock this area. Oh, that's a hat. Yeah, I guess it does kind of Pretty underleveled, but I'm at 61. Ega escape, huh? Yeah. Ninjas are involved then. Mm. What should we do? I don't know. Up to you. I don't care. Somebody also said. Declan says that. Yeah, Declan says that the next level is amazing. So there is that. All right, let's. All right then. Well, that'll do it. Ega escape. Mitsuo men will be in trouble. Alternate route through the mansion. Going oh, is problem. this gonna be like a Tenchu level? That'd be dope. Oh, I never played that'd a Tenchu be, game. That'd be, that'd be interesting. The only one that you really want to play is Wrath of Heaven. All the other ones are kind of eh to bad. Wasn't that the like the near launch PS2 one? Yes. A friend of mine picked that up, and like I played the demo for it, and I wasn't really impressed. It's not incredible. It is. It is pretty old, but it's like the only one that's genuinely good still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the thing that got me was the fact that like your movement speed is way lower than it looks like you're going. And I realized that like that's like a loading limitation kind of thing. They can't have you go too fast because like the engine wasn't designed to load yeah. in the environments and whatnot. And I get that, but that just like never stopped bugging me. So I couldn't really like deal. That's fair. Oh, I feel like I actually have really good armor already. Um, well, you're wearing the Warrior of the West suit, and now you know why basically every single goddamn Revenant in this game wears this armor. Mm -hmm. Because it's good. Let's uh, let's make let's make an offering then. Uh, I don't know if I want. Well, 
Oh good grief, I know about Red Ninja. I talked someone out of buying it once. <laughs> Thirty-two thousand, and I'll be back again. Thirty-eight thousand. Next level is at fifty-two thousand, so that's fourteen thousand deficit, roughly. How many of these things do I have? Uh, where the heck? Oh, there we are. Four hundred. Four thousand. And then it's multiple for five thousand. Just barely it, huh? Watch, I did that math wrong. I'm gonna totally embarrass myself. What did I need? 50? 50, yes. Actually, the last one you did was 50. You probably need a little bit more now. 51? More than that, if I had to assume, because you're, like, increasing at a rate, you know? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm at forty-nine. That's like a couple of enemies. There's a couple of revenants right here. Oh, you're right. Actually, yeah, we can back. Hey. This is a level seventy-two revenant. I. uh... Oh, it's got bombs. <laughs> it's Gia. And another. Oh, it's got an Adachi. Oh shit! Look at how long that sword is. Holy shit! That's yeah. an Adachi. It's like the Nodachi was like an anti-cavalry weapon or something. Mm. Ah, see, that's the Nodachi. This is the Odachi. Mm. Which is different. Oh. This is One fair is enough. Mainly the, the length of the hilt and how severely right. current it was. Here's Undead Fist. Well, it's worth the. Actually, the sword that was the anti cavalry one was the Zambato, which was a real weapon. Which is based on the Chinese Jean Ma Dao. Right. The Odachi is more of a like a testament to blacksmith skill, and the Nodachi was an anti infantry very large sword. Uh, yeah, specifically anti too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright then. The main difference between the two weapons is that the Odachi usually had a longer hilt and thicker, uh, like slightly larger blade. Was, that was also more typically, more extremely curved. The Nadachi was about as long, thinner, more likely to be used for actual web, uh, fighting. Sasaki Kojiro, the guy who uh, dueled Miyamoto and got his ass kicked by a boat oar. By a boat oar. <laughs> yeah, he used the famous uh, Nadachi called the Drying Pole, which is what, you know, the Motohashi Zao, which is what the, uh, the Washing Pole from the Souls games is named after. Yep. Especially if you've after you fired a flaming Whoa, bolt. What? There's a trap. You walked on a trap. Uh, I'm assuming this is a uh, this is a ninja mansion, so it's probably a lot of yep. traps. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty telling. It's like, oh hey, there's one asshole at the far end shooting at you in an open area. Like this has to be a setup. Oh dear. Actually, nice. a sad end for the three ninjas of, of three ninjas kickback fame. But <laughs> honestly, no, it isn't. <laughs> this is a better end than what the, uh, the series deserved. <laughs> so, regarding elixirs and health items and whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, how much does it emulate, uh, like the Death's Flask versus like consumables? So. You typically go to a shrine, you get four. You can't hold more than eight at a time, but you can find more as you go. So it's like, honestly, a pretty okay mix, I think. You know, it's not quite Dark Souls 2 where you can load up on life crystals per se. Well, maybe one is a better example of that. And it's not quite Dark Souls 1 where it's just like you're kind of stuck to a set amount of. Wait, I heard a. Okay. Wait, I heard it, it, so it, it's, it's, it's DS1 plus. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> Sorry, I hear I hear a kadama. Where are you? There's maybe definitely I, a kadama somewhere. Maybe I can't get to him from where I am. Wait, 
I also I also the, the game clipped. Can you a bit break nice walls? Time. This is probably this is a ninja mansion. It might have fake walls. <laughs> like this door. I can't believe I can't like break through this fucking show. Oh, I can. Aha! I play video games. Doors can be broken. The wall also looks breakable over there. Which one? This one. Uh, go back in that other chamber. Uh, right wall. Ah? Uh, or... Hmm. No. Oh, well. But this sign over is telling me I... <laughs> that is stylized-ass kanji. Uh... Yeah, I got, I got no shot at that. Um, I can't even parse one of them. Like... Uh, Alright, this is big dead ninja room. Um... Where else can we go? Where is the trap I sprung? I'm curious about. I think it's like right there. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pleasure play it. I, I, I kind of hate when like games do this, where it's like, hey, there's an, I, there's an item up. It's like, just climb that fucking rock, man. Like, that <laughs> is not that high. It's like, no, you gotta jump up from the balcony up there. Yeah, that was that was also another change in DS2 that I appreciated. The jump wasn't like anywhere near as freaking awkward as the one in oh, God. DS1. Double tap, like doing the run into tapping the button again, as opposed to doing the L3 tap. The L3 tap is so much better. And then, like, the animation was also smoother and far more defined on, like, this is where you take off, this is where you land. Mm -hmm. It was just so much better. Come on, William, like... <laughs> William cannot reach. He cannot reach, his arms are too short. The hammer, look at this hammer! He's, it's, yeah. It's long. He won't William. use that. White man can't jump, you know? I'm not even asking for a jump, like, just maybe a tiptoe kind of thing. <laughs> can't do it. Uh, too long. Hmm. Too you far. Can't do it. I think going? you're going to have to proceed through the level to find it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> is this... Everyone's like, this level's so awesome, but I think this stinks. Ooh, hey, okay. <laughs> That's what the level thinks of you! I like I like that there's like all these ninjas and all this stuff going on. I just I'm like I'm a guy, I'm an Irish guy. I'm an angry Irish guy with a big hammer. This is very apropos for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. The real life William Adams was just English. They yeah. chose made him Irish in this game purely because it was more interesting. <laughs> I'm down. Oh. Oh, hi, Tori Hanzo. What are you doing, buddy? So cute. So smooth. Stuck. <laughs> Actually, can you context at the, uh, at like that oh. broken post? Is look it at, like an action point? Look at the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's a, it's a swivel point. I you just action at it, like with a. That's what I'm trying. Button. Circle. Maybe, Maybe you have to have your button you sheet. Oh, no, this side. Yeah. I bet that's what was going on in that other room. There's another scroll door like that, and that's where the Kodama is. Maybe, yeah. Wait, or, no, it's no, in I'm this here. room. I think he's back behind oh. there. Yeah. There he is. There we go. It wasn't quite how I expected it, but I did call it being behind a uh, secret wall. There you go. Uh, uh... Hi. Hey, Lukusarigama. Man, after my own case. Sorry about all that stamina you lost me. In your head. That's pretty nasty. You hit him in the chest, and his head exploded off of his body. That is pretty. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> Drop you on the Oh, that's such a dick move. Putting the putting the oh. the bastard spawner right there at the bottom of the hole. Oh. 
Yeah, this is a pretty, this is a pretty neat level, honestly. I like it. Yeah. Yikes. Mm. That was, uh, was I in a hot spring, that. or is he respawning? I was in a hot spring, I don't remember being in a hot spring. Yeah, I don't see that. Weird. This guy's right hand is sort of sticking to your left would probably be a good move. Yo, so these enemies did not use that move even once before this session, I swear. No, and now we're using it all the time. When did the only start to do cool slams like that? Oh, come on! That was very lucky. <coughs> Pretty nasty. Uh, okay. You know what? While we're here, I want to check that other room. Because this is... Anything swivelly over here? It, it, was, it, had, uh, it was one that had like one of those broken posts in the center of the wall panel. Oh, the, that was it? Okay. I was I was wondering if there was something in the secret room, too. Or this room, too, because it also had a sign, but, um... Okay. All right, all right. Um... If you used a bunch of healing items fighting that thing, uh... Would you be penalized for going back and, like, hitting a shrine real quick, or...? Everything so far would respawn, pretty sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. so it does that. Okay. Not 100% not on the nin... I'm pretty sure the ninjas would respawn. Yeah. Honestly, it would, be, it would be a little weird if they didn't. Uh, I fucked up and went the wrong way. Alright. So... You want to go back to that... The, the, the room with the, the secret door. Yeah, this yeah right here. So, fun fact, Spurious Machinery. Uh, oh, there was one session where we met... In, we met the Nurakave, and we didn't have any revenants or anything around, so there yeah. was not any. We had to we had to do the guests. Dude, it's funny because like in this oh, game, hey, too, I'm I'm hoping for the um, you know, uh, where was the? It was on this side. If I want it, I guess I can drop down here for this item. This, you better, this better be good. Cobbs and Tominari. Looks like a sword. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. This game's, like, version of Mimics, I think, are really, are really fun. Ooh, check, even if they are. Check that wall, check the wall. That's the one that, that, we, were, that we were looking at earlier. Uh, other room, other room. This room here? Yeah. Right wall. Check the floors. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Isn't this the room we were in? Yes, it is. This is, in fact, the one that we were... This so wait a minute, we on. came into this room earlier and completely missed that Hattori Hanzo was in there, but we saw a wall was no, weird? I think he Fair actually enough. spawned he, in yeah. after because it's hard, ah. because they keep, they have a timer on him of if you do take a bit, he will spawn in and t tell you the secret of Ninja Mansion. I, I, I think see. that's right, yeah. So I'm qualified to be a ninja then. <laughs> Probably. Because sure. I actually that's got it. it. That's all it takes. <laughs> Wait, we'll get in the look at the map. There's like a thing, a, a crystal thing again. Oh uh, yeah, there's tethers. Mm. There's a dick in the wall. The what? <laughs> like on the radar, there's like uh, a dude like on the other side of the wall. Maybe not on the same altitude level, but like in that general area. That's a oh, n crystal right there too. Green yeah. though. Oh, ah, there he is. You know, he's on the radar. <laughs> My own stupid yeah. for not really using yeah. my radar that well. The skull. I don't even know how a hammer severs his head, but I'll take it. I think you hit him with the haft instead of the head. <laughs> and the weight just carried it to victory. Jeez. 
Ninja the Ninja Oni are pretty rough. They're really fast. I'd back off and heal. You're in a bad way. Yeah, I'm out. You're out? Okay. That's fair. Don't ah. leave the bomb. Alright, now I have a lot to dig through to get back my fish. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we found any shortcuts or healing items or, healing items or uh, anything, so... Yep. Everything respawned. Everybody respawned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, uh... Pro strats! There you go. <laughs> that, was, that was great, honestly. I'm that was gonna happen when you open this. You just gonna open it and get wrecked? Nope. No, they're gone! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that was pretty that was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, there's a jerk behind you. I see him. I know or I know about him. Hmm. It's gonna be a problem. Alright. Yeah, the archer on the ground floor is still there. Forcing me to go this way, so I don't go through that trap door. Um, yeah, it was out on the balcony past this point. Yeah, there's a ninja. There it is. It's like a soon. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're out of stamina. That'll do it. Yeah, and no. out of heads. Yeah. Is that other guy gonna follow you this far? The um, big guy. Because I don't think you want to fight this guy and the other guy at the same time. Okay. Ooh. Saw the door. He's in there. Uh, not, but a prompt for a door. Uh, I saw the, the thing on the floor in the, the hall to your left. Did you see? Oh! This thing is fast. Yes, it's a ninja. That's not, that's not a joke either. It checks. But he ran out of stamina because I shattered his horn. He's regenning. Um. Yeah, the ball. There's another oh, hidden ball. Yeah. Fuck. Wow, it's a one-way hidden door. How does that work? How does that work? <laughs> It's a swivel door. Unless there's a thing on the other side stopping it, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, it's... Bar the swivel door. Use a very big bar. <laughs> yes, creep behind the ninja. Wow. <laughs> and go through I... the wall. <laughs> That's shameful for him. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, guess, that's beautiful. You know. Ninja magic. Fire of 1,000 bamboo. Uh, what, wait, what, what saw me? Oh shit, ninja. Uh, hmm. okay. This is gonna be a problem. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, Dactylon had a good idea on this, which is spin. That would have yeah, yeah, doing that to break the crystals is fine. Doing that while there's two ninja on your ass, that makes me question that strategy. <laughs> I wonder. I mean, you know everything, well, I guess, I'm guessing that it doesn't count for the ninja, but like everybody around you dies, right? Ha! <laughs> uh, I want to make all those ninja look like jerks, and I... Really... Almost succeeded, until I, you did. Somebody <laughs> One of these, um... That guy gets you every time. Well, I've, no, I blocked him. Oh, uh, you're right. Okay. 
It's like it looked like you blocked it from behind, basically, and that's just kind of like, huh, to me. So you said you really, really like the hammer, and we've been using it this whole time. Like, obviously it hits hard. What are the other, like, merits about it that you prefer it over, uh, you know, a more nimble weapon, for example? I so, think it's mainly just that it's really satisfying to use. There's that. I can dig it. I have the wrong one. Shit. Okay, where's the other door? It's in the, uh, it's in the room you just left. It's the first room. With him in there, right? Yeah. Right. This one right over here. Jerk. Well, he survived. Should have grabbed my thing first, but worked out. Good. Wow, worked out really good. Yeah. Uh, there's a Kadama there and a shrine. shrine. Oh yeah, there's a door right over there that can only be opened from one side. Well, first things first. Remind me again what the Kodama do for you? Um, you get, you can, at the shrine, you can get a blessing from them, and the more you have, the more, multi like, the more the multiplier you get. So I, I have okay, the Okay, so they're, they're, they're upgrade resources. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're permanent upgrades for the, lo the zone, the region. Okay. <coughs> might as well shrine, might as well shrine up and get my stuff back. Yeah, you don't have to go through the rest of that. Yeah, so like in this case, for example, too. Oh, they increase your elixir refresh count apparently too. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh. Oh, Kappa. Oh, Ninja. <laughs> Ninja. You know, I. I think we might have tried it once before, but where's the Kappa? Oh, you want to use like bow at it? That's what I'm thinking, actually, because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, I hope it works. broken. Should kill them. It's true. They should just try to bow really deep and then they just lose all the water on their head and die. But, you know. Well, that's, you know what the problem is, actually? That's just Eddie Kelly's evil influence. That is. Ah, gotcha. Uh. He is instilled within the Kappa rudeness. Exactly right. Speaking of rudeness. Oh, he's polite. That was a fuck. He's a ninja. I mean, come on. Like, you know. They're assassins. Ooh. Oh, hello, Kappa. Kappa, by the way, are not very intimidating enemies. Fuck it. Uh -huh. Like, fuck, fuck my stamina. I'm not even going to worry about it. Purify. All right. This door cannot be opened from this. Yeah, of course not. That's That was... Who, who didn't see that coming? Supposed to give the kappa a cucumber that, that can is, that is. also make them back up, yeah. Yeah, well, that's the bribery method as opposed to the polite method. Yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you've been saved by your own incompetence. There's three ways you can deal with the kappa mm -hmm. you can give them a cucumber, which is bribery, yeah, but they really love cucumbers and they'll accept that as a as a thing to, you know, leave them alone. Like offering or something. You can do the trickery way of, you know, bowing at them, and since they're super polite, they will bow as well, and they will lose their water on their head and die. Mm. Or you can do, like, the brave option and try and offer them a sumo wrestling match, which you will probably lose, because they are very good at sumo wrestling. But they also respect that a lot, so... Ooh, what is that? What is shooting... 
Oh, that cannon fucking haver. hand cannon guy. Yeah. Jeez. There's a shrine right there, too. I see it, but I don't know how to get to it. I was gonna say I was doing that from the door frame as opposed to out there, but okay. Ooh, nice hit. Good shot. Ah. Am I interpreting this as non-headshots don't do much? Uh, they, I guess, they do, but not as much. Like headshots really hurt. There you go. But mostly because like those like ankle shots were doing 10% of the damage of a headshot. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there, there it is. There's that. And you can level. Nice. And I can level. It's going, it's going pretty well, honestly. 56,000. That's what we got. It's a pretty good one, frankly. Body does a lot for me. Like, it adds two to the hammer and one to the Kasari Gama and two to my rifle. I am like, it's like far and away my biggest stat, which is kind of ridiculous. But on the other hand, I mean, it's working. Can't argue that. All right. What else? What other secrets does Ninja Household? Hey, I'll leave. Oh, a big ass house. You know, like, should you think Hanzo should have come here and been like, hey, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with these ninjas. You know, like, I thought this was going to be, like, this is my kind of neighborhood. I would, I mean, I'd apologize if, like, I told my friends, like, yeah, go through here, it's totally safe, and then, like, fucking thousand ninjas. <laughs> these oh, aren't union ninja. Non union ninjas. <laughs> these are so, freelance ninjas, yeah. Fucking scab ninjas, that's why. Alright. Oh. Ooh, Ooh cool funny. spike pit. Ninja mansion. <laughs> so back there, there was like a 90 degree corner, like with the gap being over that spike pit. But like, you know, there was also two platforms there. Could you have walked over that? Uh, like around the corner back there uh, before you dropped it. Oh, no, Neo is not great. Not like big on like jump, like kind of, you know what I mean? Like, the, like not jumps, I guess you might call them really, you know, like, right. Yeah, Neo is you go down. Yeah, exactly. But it's funny because like, oh my god. Oh, spiders. Alright, we gotta remember the lesson of the spiders, which is low stance is better for them. Oh my god. Really? Spiders and ninjas? It's the lurking spider style. What? I was wondering what that like trundling sound was, and it's spiders. Spiders, I gotta say too, are not a trifling enemy. Yeah, they they don't seem to care about what you do, and they're just like, I'm gonna web you. Yes, and uh, oh fuck, I was just about to say Neo is very nice about ledges, you know. But that said, not they're not it's not totally forgiving. There's like yeah, one it's level. Just climbing back up the ladder and using the bow. Uh, uh never mind. I don't wanna watch my armor a bit truthfully. Or ammo a bit truthfully. That's fair. Um, how about plunging attack? Or deal with ninja first. Oh man, do ninjas have like specific AI to fight on the rafters? That would kick ass. Uh, I don't think so. He kind of like he's doing like cartwheels at our. Ah! <laughs> oh, <Whoa>. Billy, <laughs> Billyum, you went all right. That was a cool. Move. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like to think he like waited 
with his hammer up and then clipped his chin kind of or something. You know what I mean? Like, I like to think it worked out, even though I know what really happened. But this is my devastating delayed impact hammer blow to peak. Oh, I knew there was going to be a bridge from that one. Like, there's a reward. I will wait. A little mini earthquake there as the game kind of was like, eh, hold on, let me. You should be breaking this man through the rafter, but. Oh! Mm. What are these? Frogs? Oh, man! Frogs! <laughs> this means things. What? I think you might have changed places. I think this is a new door, is what I mean, yeah, even though you yeah, go back. Like yep. an elevator. <coughs> now you really have to rafter battle. Uh, but... You can get spiders. Uh, hmm. I can't... Can you just kick that down? Like, if you walk up to it, is there something... Is oh, that something good you point. Can... Yeah. No. Hmm. Can you strike it? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's kind of neat. Door's the same, the room flipped. Oh, so it's upside down now? Yeah. Oh. Kind of neat. Hurt your friend. Archer friend is pretty good at aiming, even down here. Yeah, I would have shot him out before dropping. You may have noticed, I rely a lot on shooting things. That's how I play Demon Souls. I played the Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just all the things. No! Oh, right, the spike! <laughs> it, was, it wasn't just a spike four, it's also a spike nice! Oh, oh nice. that's brilliant. Oh my, that is good. That is That was really... such a good gotcha! That's oh, the kind of gotcha that kicks ass. Exactly. You've been decked along. <laughs> Great, that was great. Ninja House! Ninja House is pretty great, honestly. I can't even be mad about that one. How could you be mad about that one? <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there in the world is, but not me. I am not that man. <coughs> is that Ninja House not... Well, does it... Alright, it does not stay flipped, it seems like, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we have to. No, okay. There you go. I feel hand on that. Going on in my mind. I don't blame you, pal. You dick. Um. <laughs> uh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. 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 Uh. Is there an equivalent to the uh, the throwing knife in this? Yes. Yes. Actually, um, this entire okay, so ninjutsu is like an entire second skill tree. Yeah. And there's also a third skill tree for onmyo magic, where uh, mm -hmm. you have a bunch of different stuff that you can learn and do with it. Mm. Right. Uh, by the way, apparently you should you should use your ninja stuff at least at some point because there's some uh, passive bonus stuff as well that you don't need to have like skill ranks for. But that's up to you. I was told to recommend that to you, and I'm doing so. But anyway, uh, you unlock like throwing knives and stuff as like permanent things you can just always have with you and your drift refreshes every time you go to a thing. On top of that, there's also like builds you can go where you just like completely specialize in using them. I think that's how I would end up playing this, because like. The more I played the Souls games, the more I came to appreciate just how useful throwing knives actually are, because they really screw with everything. And, um, I mean, Light of Yorth has talked about that in the chat before, where there's, like, you can customize entirely for Kunai, or Kunai will end up doing, like, 30,000 damage per shot. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, basically, I think PvP in this game, she said, too, is completely broken due to that, because it's just, like... A bunch of people weren't like, hey, who's got the best throwing knives, you know? And that's kind of it's, it's, it's just ninja war. Yeah. There's no, by the way, like, invaders or whatever. There's, like, co-op that works pretty similar to, uh, Souls, I think. Right. 
try. But I don't use it. I'm an idiot. You know you never use, like ever? What? Mid stance hammer. Hey, I've used it. Like, but you never do though. I mean, no, I know. Truthfully, but I'll show you why, right? That's that's mid stance normal attack. Here's mid stance heavy. Alright, I'll do it now. Hold on. So the thing is that, that seems pretty good. It's okay. It's very commit heavy though too, and it's a little slow, which is what made me think like why don't I just it seems faster than uh than heavy. Like... Yeah, it seems like it's more effective than heavy for the ninja, especially since they're way more mobile. <laughs> oh. Heavy's like super committal. Mid is not as committal, and like, from what I remember you saying earlier, like you can guard in mid, but you can't in heavy. You can guard in all three. It's just that it's best in mid stance. I see. So it's like there's less like uh, chip damage or something. Or... All right, all right, everybody. Fine, I'll use mid stance. Whatever. <laughs> oh no, Declan's like no. I'll agree. It's not one of the best. I mean, it still has its uses, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> well, the problem with that comedy of errors is he has regen, so it was kind of like, okay, it's good, but guess what else? It's like, you, you've got time to heal. What? Why'd you just aggro that spider? Because if you're gonna fight the ninja only down there, do you want to have the spider also join in? the right way, I wonder. That move is very dangerous. What move? The one that you just got wrecked. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That was very <laughs> scary. Oh, yeah. Ninja Spider Pit scary? Eh, not really. I mean, I don't find Ninja Pirate Spider Pit to be particularly scary to start with, but that's me. Well, I I'm going to have to go with that. Okay. Jesus, fuck. Um, I think you might want to take this area a bit more at pace. Yeah, I think you're right, honestly. I don't think there's, like, any... I was, like, kind of trying to get back to where I was, sort of, but... Also, how come I only got like three elixirs? Mm. You're in a new region. Yeah, but how many more Kodamas do I? How, how many more Kodamas do I gotta find to, you know? You only have like three or four. Fair. Wizard Pit's better than Ninja Spider Pit, says Spirit Machinery. <laughs> What's your favorite? Ninja Spider Pit's a way better band, though. Mm. <laughs> Get what travel amulet even does. Uh, like armor accessory. Throw it over the raptor. Doesn't matter. Close enough. Oh shit! I saw it happening. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay. Piece of shit, human garbage. Uh oh. Ah. I said it. Oh, 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 oh no. Alright, alright. I, I think low stance is your uh, your best move here. Maybe. Alright. Yeah, that. Surprise, spider. 
if you kill these enemies, are they here with the room flips? No, because we've done that before, and they were here. Yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna have to kill these spiders, and I think I think I'm probably gonna have to call it at some point too. I kind of want to reach the boss because I've heard people in chat murmuring about the boss, but I don't know how close I am to that, so. I do believe I actually do know what this boss is. I think I've seen it before. If I'm yeah. remembering, if I'm remembering right. Oh look. Mm hmm. That. Yeah, there's the mainly. Tail. I was rem I was I remember this because people know my tastes and we're like, "Yo, check out this fucking cool boss." <laughs> wow. So you can actually shoot them. Just like you or, wow, there's even like pots and everything upside down. I'm back, fish. By the way, these are like the noisiest spider treadings I've ever heard. They're demon spiders. Uh, yeah, they're. I actually thought they were like the, the centipede boss that has like kind of a similar sort of like um, sound, which is a little more understandable. I think it's mainly just because it's like four of them, yeah, all right next to each other. Ah, uh, uh, one more, just one more, and then I'm gonna call it. That's fair. I'm not getting into that just one more too much, but all right. How how is this possible? Right, well, fuck that ninja! I don't care. This guy always gets you whenever you open the door. Not this time. This time he knew. He didn't spawn this time. Huh. He didn't, yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm very glad though. Okay. Seeing all those guys upside down now is so, you know. So those hands are working pretty well on the, on the ninjas, too. Ooh. That sucks a lot. I've said it before and I'll say it again. What is also unfortunate is that web effect is so really stupid looking. I'm sorry. I haven't even seen a graphical effect for it. I, I see there's, there isn't. Out, there but... isn't. They just like go, oh, your animation's slower now. It looks, it looks pretty bad. It's like, it's like a. Uh, maybe it's a little wrong to say a rare piece of unpolished in this game, but it's definitely like not. It I, feels off. It feels, yeah. It's definitely like, oh, come on, you can do better than that, you know? It's like, come on, it's a coating of sticky white stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like, even that would have, like, kind of helped, you know? But... Sticky white stuff. <laughs> you know, it was right there, but I didn't take it. I should have. If I was on YouTube, I would have taken it. Standards. It's not a matter of standards, it's a matter of demon souls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sticky white seven demon souls. I forgot about that. Alright! See? What does that do again? It's, uh, it it's was the magic, magic damage. damage. Like, it just adds magic damage to your weapon. Mm -hmm. Enchant magic. I think I should have gotten an elixir from the list, frankly, but whatever. Uh, which way was I going? This way. A long way, yeah. And yeah, actually, there's uh, very few enemies in this get in this level that give you elixirs. Because normally the um, actually, the spiders in the last time, like the regular size spiders, were common common elixir dropper enemies. That's weird that they haven't here. I am completely out of. Uh... Well, do I have any hand cannon left, maybe? Ammo ammunition. You want to equip it? I keep doing that all the time. Very annoying. All right. Nope. All right. 
completely out of all ranged ammo. All right. You just gonna have to deal with that guy being there, I guess. Uh, maybe not. Come on. I mean, I do, but maybe we could try fighting him in the hallway. Or have to deal with with spiders, but it's not a guy shooting at you. There's a trap. Might be able to use that. Okay. Maybe this is pretty good progress. Maybe. Oh, why? Why did you greed? <laughs> now you have spiders. Okay. <laughs> Didn't Spin to Win also do really good work on the spiders? You know what? It did, thank you. That's a good suggestion. There we go. Yes, it did. Oh, extremely. There we go. Oh. Alright. Alright, <laughs> so there's a smoke guy over there, and this is a shortcut, it seems like. Oh right, uh, right over here, right next to the uh, the, the shrine. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, permanent progress. Yay. Yay. Um, who smoke guy? I wonder then. Not a new journey. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. Jeez. You were like a single enemy away from looking weapon. That sucks. I gotta tell you. Not even gonna like dodge. Oh. If I did, then I'll like sure I'll take it. But... Is that like an item on the ground there? Yes, it is. Ninja Tanfa. Well, appropriate. Tanfa's a fun weapon too. That's one of the DLC weapons, Kadachi and Tanfa. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. There's two more doors you can break open back there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I bet that one on that wall over there is breakable. Yeah. yeah. Almost certainly, yeah. yeah. Ninja right here. <clears throat> also, there's like that looks like a falling point, yeah. yeah. Like that's probably another trap. So I guess this is this game sense fortress. Is the idea? Yeah. Oh, William, why? Right, <laughs> oh, I guess this is actually safe. There's just another door. Yeah. Sliding door. It might have been, um... Oh, I think this might be a spin door maze. Th there's a spin door right by, uh, back where you were busting that wall open. Wait, I just heard a... No, you mean here? This one no, no, no. The other one. There's another one. Yeah, I know. In here. No, there's another. There's a third one. Yeah, but that oh, well, one's only be work. open. <laughs> like one way I thought oh shit the one you kept on checking was the, the one I said that you, you didn't want to go to is the one you checked and you can't could go in one way you didn't check the third one at all all right uh, I think you're back where you started yeah yeah okay straight forward this one yes there you go Okay. okay, so it is blocked, but... Yeah. Uh, apparently I'm close to the boss, I guess, but... I really wish I'd... Well, I'm saying that, but... <laughs> oh, okay. You accidentally hit a Nurikabe. Shit. Huh. The plans, they have backfired. The word, this is, this is more or less. So Nurikabe are living walls. Yes. I see. This is this game's kind of take on a mimic, I guess. Maybe it's an <laughs> okay way to describe it. I'm close to the boss, chat. If so, I'll keep going, but if not, I think this is a good place. Yep. You are. Alright. 
Um, We're very close. We can check him out at least, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to like beat him. Or, I mean, unless he, unless I win like first try or something, you know, then fine. But I'm not gonna. I'm not doing. I'm not doing more than one attempt because I do have to go to bed and go to work. Apparently, I've got. Apparently, this is the shortest route somehow. Wow, dang. Where at least like people are kind of like. You know. <laughs> oh, I got lucky there. You're a fucking dog. Alright, first thing to defeat this. This guy died for crushed to death for neutral behavior, so that's my So it's either positive or Exactly. Oh, because I hit him once though, he's he gets mad immediately. Okay. He's got the, the chest from new weapon, yeah. Back where I was? Oh my Jesus. Christ. No, I, mean, like, I don't think so. Monster ball. No. Nah, I don't think you are. This is not back where you were, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. there's a chest I opened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really said, like, hey, yep, there's a thing, and I think that's the war plate, but that wasn't the war plate. Ah, uh, plan B, leg it. Um. Right now. Yeah, that's fair. So you go this way, right? Then I went. I was one for three years to pass through. There's a thing over there, right? Or is that back where I was? That's way back. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, that's backtrack. Yeah, this is, this is yeah. Okay. Uh, um. I mean, I'm sure once you learn it, it's fine. But you know. What's going on, Dominic? Um, Dominic, by the way, I played Fear and Hunger, which you wrote about. So. I don't know where the fuck to go. Um. We keep ending up over here. I know. What's up with that? Once you learn it, the annoying part's making the door animation, apparently. Okay. That stands to reason. The door, All right, right, so there's how we get in. There's the yeah, other one. This way, I think. Nurikabe still gonna be aggroed? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure too, yeah. Could, we could have gone to the shrine and reset him then. No. He's still a wall. There. I kind of appreciate that. Friendly and neutral, so mad is the thing you need to do for it, if you do re reset it. I'm assuming I have to get past him, because it's like the only other place I can, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or uh, wait. Oh. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Oh, that actually might be the... That might be the boss door right there. It is. Looks fancy enough. Yep. There we go. Giant turn! Just giant turn! What's up? Ooh. Frogs actually are associated with ninja. Which is an yep. interesting thing. Yeah, the, uh, the tree frog. You know, it's like camouflage going on. Camouflage, really uh, athletic and agile, like agile and stuff like that. 
Uh, yeah. He's got a pipe, because large pipe and smoking mad, that's also associated with, associated with Ninja. Specifically with Goemon, usually. Yeah, you should That's why Goemon, you know, he has a pipe in Mescal Ninja, all that yep. stuff. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty dope. That was pretty awesome. All right, I think that's a good spot to end it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate. Agreed. Take it easy.